Hi, my name is Viola Brown. Welcome to my channel. AKA Nail Cover Lover. Let's get started. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a video of an unboxing and maybe playing around a little bit. I ordered four um, sticky stamping polishes from She Modern. And let's get in here and see what I've got. I think I know I ordered black and white. And I think it was green and orange. So we're going to play with them a little bit. Okay. And this box seems like it's more heavier than... But if you've been here... Let me let me start off with this. If you've been here with me, great. I uh, greatly appreciate you. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that big old like button. If you like what you see. And also, um, leave me a comment down below. And if you... Uh, like I said, like what you're seeing or like what you're hearing because <laughs> you're just going to see my hands. <laughs> but anyways, uh, leave me a comment, guys, and share if you can. Uh, share it out to your mama, your brother, your sister, your, your cousins, your neighbor, uh, anybody. So, just get it out there. Anyways, um, let's see what we got in here. What Tina said, what I ordered. I'm so excited to get my, my, oh, yep, Tina sent me a whole lot more, you got, wow, let's see what we got, no, I know I ordered, okay, this is a jelly blue, I didn't the red jelly blue, I should have ignored that, I don't know this either, shimmer pink fuchsia, I didn't order the, the shimmer pink fuchsia or the opal blue shimmer. Oh, metallic pearl. These are metallic pearls. Yay! Thank you, Tina. Oh, oh, I got the glow in the dark pigment powder. Yeah, I thought I had that, but no, I didn't have the glow in the dark pigment powder. And then I got the sheer red sparkling pigment. And let's see. Oh, no, I didn't order this either. She sent me the sticky gray. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, these are a little bit, cost you a little bit of money, but. For what you get in these bottles, they last forever. Okay, there's the green jelly water polish. I don't think I... I ordered the sticky one. Sticky. And the green, I believe. Okay, there's the sticky white I ordered. And uh, there's the sticky orange I ordered. Here's a green one. Let's see what it is. Yep, there's the sticky green I ordered. And I ordered a sticky black. Yep, there's the sticky black I ordered. And these, I think... Oh, she sent me some scrapers. <gasps> what? Is that it? Nope, there's more in there. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tina. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at all these. Let me get these little pieces of paper out of the way, guys. Oh my gosh, let's see. She sent me the yellow jelly water polish. And she sent me the jelly matte. Oh yeah, she sent me the sealant matte. The jelly matte water paint polish. And like I said, she sent me the silver. And she sent me the green jelly, let's see, jelly green watercolor polish. And the jelly pink water. Oh, neon pink. Is this a neon? Nope, this one's a neon. So I got the neon pink water paint polish. And then she sent me the sticky silver, so we'll put that over here. And she sent me the shimmer green apple metallic. And the opal sheer glitter pixie. Sparkle silver hollow glitter. Oh, yay. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these goodies. And she sent me the stamping uh, the stamper scrapers. I got a white one, a black one, and a yellow one. And they have shemodern.com on each stamping. Uh, scraper. What? Oh my gosh, thank you, Tina. Wow. I'll show you my collection that I already have from She Modern. I love She Modern's products. I'm going to set these aside. And this is my collection that I already have. And guess what, guys? I just now realized I already had the sticky black and the sticky white stamping polish. Wow. And I got the ink orange, or uh, gel ink orange smoky marble. Well, these are all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. This is my collection, and then I got all this stuff. The other day, I had I waited to open it, so I could open it with you guys. And I'm so excited. Getting a pretty good little collection going here, guys. Yay! And I want to go and order some more, because I want some of them neons. I got one neon, and it's the neon pink. Yeah, oh, my gosh. I've got to get me some more of the neons. <laughs> Anyways, I'll set this aside. I'll put all these aside. And these aside. Because we're going to try some. First off, we're going to start off with the sticky white and the sticky black. I'm going to put these back up here. Might as well, because we're going to use some of them. I don't know what I'm going to use, but we're going to use some of them. Look, I got them all rolling everywhere. 
because I'm so excited. Anyways, how you guys doing? Have you, have you guys played with the um, She Modern Sticky Polishes? Look at that orange. Would you look at that orange? Yes, Tina. Okay, I got my little stamper here from Clear Jelly Stamper. I mean, my stamping thingy. And then I got my scraper. I'm going to see what scrapers I'm going to use. I'll probably use a black and white since I'm going to do probably black and white. We're going to use both of them. And then I've got my little pad here. And then I got my clear jelly stamper itself. And I got me some CADS plates out. And this one here is a What's Up Nails plate. And then this one here is a Beauty Big Bang State plate. All right. All right I'm going to do some frogs, y'all. <laughs> There's my stamper because I didn't know I, I didn't, didn't know she sent me a stamper guy or a scraper, guys. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Let's get. Okay. I've got a black and white nail already set up and ready for it to stamp because I knew I had ordered the four stampers. And I am wanting to clean off the tacky layer with some alcohol because it still has a tacky layer on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And these um, swatch sticks, guys, I got from Amazon. And I also got these from Amazon. Okay, let's put that over here. And let's get started, y'all. First off, I'm going to clean off my stamper. My little sticky pad here from Clear Jelly Stamper. And these guys, these are great to have, let me tell you. Clear Jelly Stamper. And it's just a little stamping pad like you would have for a lint roller. Okay, now let me get the black and the white opened up here. Let's see if I can find my scissors. You know what, guys? I'm going to open up all these and I'll be right back. I'm going to do it off camera. That way it doesn't take that much time. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I got them all opened up. Well, the plastic taken off of them. And I want to show you the CADS plate, which is CADS Chinese 018. Now let's get our blue film off of here. And it's got a froggy. Because if you haven't been here, I love frogs. I love, 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 love frogs. Lucky there's one on the lily pad and then one there. Ah, <laughs> they're so cute. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Hey guys, these are the sticky. I've got the gray, the, the, the white, the black, the green, the orange, and the sticky silver. So, yes, we are going to get started. First off, I am wanting... No, I'm not, that's my first time using these, so we're going to see. And what Tina showed me, oh my God, the pickup is amazing. So, we're going to try this. So, I'm going to do my lily pad. Froggy. And from what she, she says, you don't need a lot and you don't have to race to pick it up. Here we go. Let's check out this pickup. <gasps> look, 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 look. Do you see that pickup? Look at those lines. You see that? Wow. And watch this, guys. Voila, because it is a sticky stamping polish look at there every bit of it comes off onto your card look at that you see it yes all right let's let's try this over black i'm gonna put this one kind of down at the bottom 
look at that transfer. Are you kidding me? Look at the details on the lily pad. Oh my God, I'm going to love these, you guys. Yes, I am. Let me get me some acetone to keep clean my plate. Move this out the way. Now. I want to get the little green froggy at the top. But I think I'm going to do him in gray. And then put some color over him with the green apple shimmer. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm going to try it anyway. Clean up my stamper. Scrape at an angle. Oh, yes. Look at that pickup. I'm loving this pickup. Tina was not joking. Look at that. Kidding me. Wow. Let me put this black behind it so you can see the frog in the gray. That is the gray sticky stamping polish, guys. All right, now I'm going to paint him, or paint. I'm going to put him at the top like he's leaping from the lily pad that the other frog's holding. Now, see, he's kind of see-through over the black, but she said if I put the um, powder on there that I can change the color of him with the powder and you don't need very much at all so let me get this green apple one and I'm going to put it on the black plate right here and I'm just going to use a little dibby little little bitty bit oh my god look at this beautiful color and that is the shimmer green apple metallic pearl now I'm going to be painting this this way because I don't want all of the silver onto the the other green. Well, maybe I do. Yeah, we're just gonna do it that way. Okay, now let me get me a makeup brush and just dab a little. And let's see how he comes out. Oh, girls, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that frog that color. Brush some of it down that way. Look at that. He is now a shimmer green apple frog. <laughs> Isn't he just adorable? Now look, I can take this and I can wipe off the rest of the extra where the frog is. Look at him. And it's still a little bit tacky. I could put something on there if I want to. Let's let's try. Let's do the silver hollow over this frog. Ooh, that one poured out fast, a little bit faster than I'm used to. But we're gonna do that. So let's put the silver hollow over this frog. And like I said, you only need a little bit. Because the longer you wait on your stamp, the longer the um, sticky goes away. See this one here? I didn't want a whole lot of on this one. But it is still a little bit sticky to where I can actually put the hollow on him. Curls. Look at that. And guys... I got the green apple frog at the top jumping off the lily pad. And then the other one hiding underneath of it. And he's a silver hollow green <laughs> frog. He's just too cute. All right, we're going to try another stamp and play with the frog on it. I know this has got the, yeah, this has got the little froggy on it right there. Now, I had trouble picking this frog up with just regular um stamping polish so that's why i wanted to try this one 
And we are going to put him on the white nail that I have right here, the white tip. And uh, we are going to use the, hmm, which one do I want to use? We're gonna use the white. Now we're, let's see, what do I wanna use, guys? I'm so conflicted, there's so many colors. We're gonna make him orange. We're just gonna make him orange. I think it's gonna look cute orange. Oh, and you guys, you do need to shake these up. They do have a BB in them. If I'm not wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Alright, now like I said. This before. I had a heck of a time picking this little frog up before. So we're going to see if we can pick him up with this orange. This sticky orange. Okay, we're going to get my stamp. I made my plate. Scrape rimming. Let's check out this pickup. <gasps> yes, girls. Look at him. Perfect pickup. Wow. Look at that. Perfect pickup. And before, like I said, I had problems picking him up before now this is a sticky stamp and polish like I said so if I want to I'm going to take the green and I am going to put me a little dab of this green I'm just gonna stick it on here and I'm gonna paint him with the green on the inside I know maybe you're not supposed to do that, but I'm going to. I want to see if it what it does, and if because it's supposed to stick to the nail better. But these are air dry, guys. So let's do the reverse stamping. And these are fine lines. But I want to see if it keeps the fine lines and how it does with the reverse stamping. And Tina said when you do the reverse stamping, it's easier. You don't have to have anything. I mean, you can use the sticky uh, mat to put over the whole nail. But I want to see how it does with this just by itself once it dries and see how easy it transfers to the tip. How is everybody doing? Good, I hope. Now we've got him reverse stamped. I'm gonna set him aside and let him dry. Soon, not be a, a long dry time. So we're gonna we're gonna see how that does. All right, let me get my. No thingy here to clean up my stamping plate here with the acetone. So we're gonna try some on these nails that I done too. I've had these nails not this color but I changed the color but I've had these nails on these are the nails I done ladies for my 25th anniversary which was last month so they've been on almost four weeks something to that effect alrighty now let's try the silver let me get me another stamper because I got that one over there drying so we'll try, where is it? Wrong door. We're gonna get my other stamper that I got here, guys. I need to clean it up a little bit here. All right, now let me get it cleaned off better. Go. 
Alrighty, now let's try. As my outline, I want to try one of these with the more intricate detail. Let's see what we pick up with the black sticky stabby polish, guys. Put this right here. Now let's pick that up. Look at that. Pick up. Are you kidding me? Wow. That is insane. So we're going to put this on. Well, look at me. I got green on here. I don't want green on there. put this right on this nail look at that look at that transfer are you kidding me that is so amazing I'm still in all of it I'm just in all you guys in all and this like I said is a polish guys this is not a um, this is just like a regular polish, so you can use it as that, you know? All right, now look, there is still a flower on this stamper from that's on this side. So we're going to put that on the pinky. Yes, line it up right there. Now look at that. Still stuck after all that time. After all that time, you guys. Seriously? Wow. And let's see if he's dry. Oh my gosh, yes, he's dry. All right, now let's check out the little green frog here that we did with on the reverse stamping. Are you guys ready? I'm going to put him down here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Yeah, I got him crooked, <laughs> but he's still stuck. After all that time, and I didn't have to put anything on this nail to prime it to get it to stay. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> I love it. Now, I want to take some of this pink, pink, neon, uh, it's jelly neon pink. Like I said, guys, these are water paint polish. So you can put this on here. You only need a little dab. Now let's get the green. And it's the green water color polish. Yeah, these got the little beads in them. This is the blue. Jelly blue water paint polish. Let's put that there. And the yellow. Clean this damper off and set it to the side, guys. Now I want to get my paintbrush over here. Now let me get the bigger one because this one's kind of small. So we're going to get one of these. And I'm going to put a little dab of water. And I just dropped my stamper. Put a little dab of water in my dish here. Just a little bit. You can actually put some on here because it's so pigmented. And you can spread it with water. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, let's get this pink. And you don't need a lot. She said you don't need a lot. flowers. 
Ooh, look at that. Let's get some of this green. green at all. Are you seeing that? Okay, now I'm going to get some of the yellow. No, I won't do the blue. Because I'm going to do this over here, blue. Now watch, as I want to make this lighter, I don't need very much water on there at all. And all I gotta do is move it. Look at that. Amazing. Put some yellow in the middle. I'm gonna stick some yellow in with this green over here to make some different Oh, it leaves. Look at that. So pretty. Look at how that mixes. Are you guys seeing that? Not very much on my brush at all. That is so crazy. All right, let me clean this brush off a little bit. I'm going to get the rest of this blue. Put some blue up here. And I'm going to spread it a little bit to make it look like a cloudy blue sky a little bit. together. I'm going to go put some down here. And we're going to let this dry. Amazing. See those? Yes. Okay, guys. I'm going to use the Jelly Matte Water Paint Polish. And it's the clear. And this is to keep your stamping polish from smearing when you want to put a top coat on it. Look at that. And this is an air dry. All of these are air dry. And look, no smudge. And I just got done with that blue. No smudge. Look at me, I done dropped something on my hand. <laughs> no, don't spill. Don't spill it, y'all. Alrighty, now we're going to let them dry. Now we're going to finish up our little frog frog here. We're going to put some... Um, let me see. We're going to put a butterfly up there. Let me see what color do I want to use. We are going to use the silver. Stamping the sticky silver. But I'm also going to add some green. And orange. in the middle and then I'm going to scrape it and 
Now, if you get any colors mixed on your brush, make sure you clean it off before you stick it back in here. Oh, y'all, I just messed up that little froggy. I stuck my hand in there and squished him. You wouldn't. Would you believe it? Yeah, you can believe it with me. <laughs> well, I'm just going to uh, have to make another stamp and put it right over top of, of this little green froggy. We're going to see. We're going to see. Look at that pickup. Look at that pickup. Smashingly gorgeous. And you know what? I think I'm just going to keep that flower. Put it at the bottom. By the froggy. Then we're going to put the butterfly. Up at the top. Love that. Look at that, you guys. Amazing. Wow. Okay, I'm going to clean up my plate. And like I said, guys, this is... Clean, I am cleaning this up with acetone. Sorry if I'm shaking, y'all. Okay, we're gonna clean that up too. Set that aside. Now, this is still tacky, so we're gonna let it dry a little bit longer. And what I want to do, where are you? There you are. Oh yeah, I wanna stamp that little froggy, the outline again in orange. We're gonna see how it goes back over that green since I messed it up. We'll see. And I love that you can take your time getting to that stamp. You do not have to just automatically stamp that sucker. You know, because usually when you do, if you don't stamp it, you're not picking it up. Now watch. Not with this, guys. You guys need to get over to She Modern and get you some of these sticky. They're called Sticky Stamping Polish. That's what they're called. Now, let me see if I can line him back up and put his face back on here. And I did it. Amazing. All right, now I'm gonna move this to the side. And I'll clean that plate up in a little bit. Now I wanna take some of the... The pink. The neon pink. And put a dab there. highlights in this flower. Love that. So pretty. I only need a tiny bit. See? And that stamp image is not going nowhere with me rubbing this jelly over top of that stamping image. See that? See that little green image here? I'm going to paint it pink. 
much, I can go over this and it still will not get rid of my green image. See that? Will not get rid of my green image. And if I lighten it up with water, watch. Still not moving. That stamping image is still there. See that? Still there. If I don't want that pink there, watch, still there. Crazy amazing. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the stamping protector over that over my black one wherever it went. Guys, I don't even know what I'm done with it. <laughs> Either that, oh, because I'm blind, it's standing right there staring at me. Now, I am going to take some of this yellow, since this is dry, and put some yellow on here first before I put the stamping, the protector over it. And this is the jelly, the yellow jelly. Now what I used here was the pink neon. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get some of the yellow jelly. Now watch, this stamp will not move. I'm gonna put it on my lily pad. Look at that. Now the, these do work better over a a lighter color the yellow does but when it dries it you can see it more vibrantly so adorable I'm gonna let this dry for a second now I want to get the where is it what did I do with it guys it's probably staring at me yeah, here it is. The jelly mat. And I'm going to put the jelly mat over this. Look. No smears. No smears. I'm going to put the jelly mat over this. Look. No smears. No smears. Wow, so amazing. Okay, I want to <laughs> take... So cute. I think I'm gonna make, with the, the sticky green, I wanna do the little footprints. I think that's footprints. Yeah, I think these are froggy footprints. I'm gonna put them down at the bottom of this one. And then I'm going to put some of the glow in the dark on there. Let's get this stuff back over here, guys. Clean my stamper. Pick them up. Get off the stuff I don't want. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so we're going to the black nail. And this is all pretty much dry. I'm going to put these down below here. See that? There we go. Let's just put them anywhere. Look at that. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take some of my glow in the dark pigment powder and we're going to put some of that crap. I'm going to put some of that right here. I'm loving this, playing with this, guys. I'm gonna put some right onto that. And I believe I can still put some on this yellow. We're gonna see. Alrighty. You guys, like I said, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and share this out to everyone.
and leave me a comment tell me below what you think about this video and you guys go to she modern and get you some of these stamping polishes the sticky stamping polishes go my god they are amazing you will not be disappointed you will not this one should be about dry nope it's still because i put it on i don't know why i put it on so thick because tina said do not put it on thick and i put it on thick okay so well this time i'm not gonna put it on thick put it on thin Set these aside. And if you guys want to see some of the other colors that I have or whatever, and you want to see me do something with these, leave it in the comment below, and I will sh for sure do that for you. So just leave me a comment down below, guys, if you want to see me do something else with okay, them. Okay, guys, these are dry. I'm back. So I'm going to put some No Cleanse Top Coat Gel over top of these and show you that it will not smear with this so if you use your jellies or whatever and you put this over it's not going to go nowhere look at that voila voila and i will show you this what it looks like after it being in the dark So let me shut these lights off. Okay, guys, right I want to show you what this one looks like with the glow in the dark. And here they are with the gloss on it. The gloss top coat did not smear. This one, I wanted to show you the glow in the dark. Okay, ready? Look at that glow in the dark, guys. See the little froggy steps? That's the glow in the dark. Oh, and it's even glowing on my table. Check it out. beautiful guys you guys need to go get you some of these big time and i will get off of here and i will guys, talk later bye bye see ya my beautiful friends